Hey, this will be Rosendale and Binnewater, part two of the Wallkill Valley Railroad series. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so disregard my Binnewater comments whilst I was up in Kingston. That is strictly the site of Binnewater ice and Binnewater spring water. This is Binnewater, originally known as Keter's Corners. We're standing at a kiosk right here. That building is that building. That's what it looked like in the 1980s when it was Crom's Sports Center. There it is when it was David Burke's. The gas station, general store, post office, typical. It was the center of town. There's a railroad station. And I'm standing right there. Right there. X marks the spot. So that's telling me that the station was right here. That building's in the picture. That building's in the picture. Telling me the station was right here. So of course, not much left to it. It was right here at the crux, if you will, of that road and that lane it's been a water lane so it was right here this is the walk hill valley rail trail rail bed and of course when they build these they don't a hundred percent of the time follow the exact trail but there's where it starts down in gardner Works its way on up through New Paltz. We're of course right here right now just north of Rosendale and that's where we started out. We're going there next. But I got something pretty cool I gotta show you up here. Remnants of an old cement kiln. Maybe you can see it way up there beautiful house here so this was been water this was Keter's Corners and oh okay so it did say that the privy was still left so this was the privy right here let's check it out <laughs> this was the privy to the railroad station. How nice of them that they left it. Oh yeah. How many tushes you think sat on those seats? <laughs> cool. It even had electricity in it. <laughs> Look at those beautiful hinges. Well, this is period. Yep. Original tin roof. So, this is one of the first, oh, there's the his and hers, whoops, big hole down here, guess what went down here, there's a bottle, this was a one hole or the other one was two, I bet this was the men's side, yeah, and we got shells, Put the metal detector around here, probably find a, there's the vent right there <laughs> find a few old coins around here if you metal detected anyway cool so that's the privy let's go up and see that chimney whenever I get a chance to film beautiful bluestone work I do that's a gorgeous step 
So this is the general store, post office, gas station. It's currently the women's studio workshop and they're in the process of restoring it. Yeah. I wonder where we could throw some garbage. Typical, they always built onto them. Storekeepers usually lived upstairs and in back. They had plenty of room for storage. There she is. This is a fairly well used um, walking trail, the Wallkill Valley. And it goes through some really nice areas. These old framed houses here, that's the Ann Atwood house. It says so up top. And we got a an old stone one coming up here. Here's why it was called Keeter's Corners. Keeter Home, in case you can't read that, built about 1770 by first settler Keeter. Community formed, community formerly called Keeter's Corners. It turned into mineral water. So they found cement up here in these hills and in these mountains and in these rock deposits and they mined it and all the men I think this one had about 250 uh, men and boys they said that mined it that worked it there's quite a uh, Quite a leveled spot of all the old brick here from the chimney. These bricks used to be up there. Way up there. Now they're down here. <coughs> <coughs> Having a rough day today. We have some sinus stuff going on. It's the spring here in the Hudson Valley. Yeah. Well. You're going to keep coming down, I suppose. This is the stone ruins. And here are the kilns. I'm just going to keep walking in here and filming this. Because at some point, it may not be here. We'd like to get it on film. Nobody's told me to get the heck out of here yet. <clears throat> what is that? Euonymus? Growing on there? Look at that. That's what it looks like. An old steel iron door there. Yeah. That beam. That beam is mighty, mighty impressive. There is no, no, oh, it's two. There's the joint right there. Nonetheless, that's mighty impressive. Another one up top there. I would say from here up to the top is um, 30 feet plus. Look at those stones. Gosh almighty. <clears throat> Bin of water cement. I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I found it. I'm glad I popped for Advil to be able to get you this video today. Look at those iron pins. They held in another chunk of wood. Huh, they must have been possibly doors, steel doors connected to them. Those were the vent holes in the back there. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship. Wow. I hope this structure lasts another 200 years for all to see. Wow. Big iron hook. You get the pin rods and then you got a hook right there. Different layers of limestone, brick, granite, quartz. Look at that. <clears throat> well, graffiti hounds got to this one. Huh. This is awesome. Hope you guys are enjoying this. This is going to be a, a bit of a lengthy video here, but 
I just want to capture all this. Uh, I grew up here in the Hudson Valley. I've never seen this before. As I said in the first part of my segment on the Walt Hill Valley, I don't know this area very well. I've trucked through here a bit. Sometimes when you're trucking, you go from A to B. You deliver your load of whatever it is you're hauling and you get your signatures and a cup of coffee and you move on and then you go from C to D um, many times you get to enjoy the ride we're almost to the end here wow there's the end boy oh boy oh boy this is just amazing hundreds and hundreds of feet long wow Here's some ruins over here. Let me turn you off and get back to you. Let me show you this. Company offices, maybe? No, probably not. Just the craftsmanship, just what it took in manpower and human toll to build these structures is incredible. And the fact that they are still here. This one, I'm going to guess, had a nice little low grade peak roof there. This is nearing the end of our exploration days here in the spring foliage is just starting to pop out leaves are leafing frogs are frogging poison ivy's poison ivying snakes are snaking you get the, the picture all brick lentils brick lentils above the windows look at those whoops that one's out <laughs> yeah this building's probably Hmm, 30 by 40. Yep. Wow. Bin of water. New York. We're only about a mile north of Rosendale proper. These iron pins. Wow. There's a look at that. That's 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 virgin forged iron right there. Ain't nothing recycled about that. That's the real deal. Blacksmith would love to have that iron. It's all through here. Strewn about. Wow. Parts and pieces. All over. All over through there. Growing up through. Trees are growing up through it. Yeah. Not sure what it was, but it was part of bin of water cement. So I guess at some point this uh, Rosendale cement, bin of water cement, was uh, the world's most premier cement available to mankind. I think I read or heard somewhere where it was uh, actually used in the construction of a lot of the big skyscrapers and buildings and bridges and tunnels and and uh, culverts down in New York City look at this I hope they're not destroying this I hope they're preserving this a lot of excavation done here boy I hope they're gonna preserve what's left foundations all over the place huh <clears throat> gorgeous here's another one here yeah. oh so this is the rail trail right here yeah you're telling your private property stay on the rail trail well there's a big chunk of iron pipe right there This is the rail trail. 
got a truck coming up alongside of us. He can't yell at me now. He probably didn't see me before. So long, buddy. Yeah, I'm going to get uh, back in there. <clears throat> Try to get back to my car. I don't want to walk on the rail trail. Well, anyway, let's get the sun behind there. Look at that. All right, I'm going to move on down to Rosendale, look for that big bridge. You know you want to go out on that with me, don't you? Yes, you do. Here's some ties. Yep. So, we're on the rail trail. Oh boy, going back to Sam the Silver Car. We got Sam the Silver Car today. We had Stu the Silver Truck yesterday. Uh, I had to go home and deal with some private issues. And we're back. So let's go to Rosendale. Hey, Mrs. Robin. All right, we got some uh, strong naturally natural hydraulic cement was used in the Brooklyn Bridge, pedestal of the Statue of Liberty, the U.S. Capitol, the Pentagon, and the U.S. Treasury Building. Wow. And sadly, they dismantled the train station in 1989, not that long ago. What a shame. I pulled out of uh, up there, Keeter's Corners, Binner Water. You can see the chimney up there. Uh, and I'm heading down to Rosendale anyway. I looked out my window and saw this culvert, so I thought I'd capture it for you iron iron culvert and concrete we got this one that goes underneath the road that I'm sitting on which is County Route 7 which is Binnewater Road okay gotta go there's Sam here are some more just south of Binu Water by maybe half a mile. We are parked here at this trailhead. And we've got these ruins. Part of the Binu Water cement plant. This is a little bit more squared factory industrial manicured looking uh, than the others are Ooh, these are round what could this have been wow that's part of another kiln right there wow look at that that goes way down this is awesome and you can tell things are starting to green up here so, our days of exploring. Oh man, that's down there. <laughs> wow. Spoils a man down there, too. This was run off from up there, up on that rock ledge, and it came down through here into here. What the? What are all those bottles? Wow, they're all the same. They look like uh, beer. Huh. This is, I wish you could see this curvature of this beautiful wall right here. Hmm. Well, let's go out on the trestle. Okay, they got a beehive effect going on here. Look at that. Wow. Fire brick here. Huh. Let me put you up in there. What do you see? Oh, baby. Stone, brick, and iron. And what do you think? 
You think that's Rosendale Binnerwater cement? <laughs> I think so. Small little set of abutments here. Iron bridge. This was probably wood in its day. Here. And look at this. This is where they got the cement out of. Yeah, the stone, the dust. That water's pretty clear. Looks like some... Looks like an old truck frame down in there. Wow. Full of algae. Hmm. Yep. A lot of snakes over here in the summertime. Look at that. Well, gotta save our battery for the trestle. Let's go. Okay, just give you an idea. That little bridge right there, that's where we just were, the stone abutment. Little path that goes down that way to the parking lot, which is over there. You can just about see the kilns over there. Sam's parked over there. And we're walking this way. I think it's about a quarter of a mile to the trestle. So, stick with me. We'll get there together. Okay. Trestle's right up there. That is mighty impressive rock ledge. Sheer, sheer drop off. One other observation. Down there is a really nice old period correct stone dam holding back that body of water that goes all the way up to the kilns. So that was probably a, uh, well, it was definitely a man-made um, pond they used for pumping water. Uh, yeah, a lot of ties here. This is um, a lot of, a lot of cool features all through here. I can see where there's a lot of snakes though. Yeah. All right, looks like we're nearing the trestle. Yep, here we go. Hopefully I'm not afraid of heights. <laughs> it's pretty high up. Oh, they got a box of, they got a, a, a set of rules here. Let's see. Here's the, here's the bench that the scaredy cats sit at. And here you have one, two, three, four. And it was telling you that there was a bridge coming up. And this is indeed a bridge rules trestle is open riders must dismount for emergencies and that oh crap moment <laughs> okay look at that this is mighty awesome here wow. here we go the rosendale trestle huh. um i'm happy you happy these rock ledges here above, above the uh, village of Rosendale are pretty wild. Yeah. Huh. Bridge almost feels like it's moving. Some pretty views of the village of Rosendale. And I do believe the creek down below is the... Rondell. Yes. Is it? Yeah, it's a Rondell. Of course it is. Let me get you up in height a little bit here. Yeah. Well, here we are. Out on the trestle. Rosendale down there. And go all the way out. Look at the rock ledges. Wow. This is pretty cool. So we were down on that road there the other day. Yep. There we go. I have to get the year that this trestle was built.
And we get a nice fence here over the road. Yep. Trains used to be over this bridge six, seven, eight times a day. Yeah, setting up in that engine. in that engine he was up even higher than we are imagine he pooped his pants a few times just thinking about it maybe he did a little sign of the cross just before he crossed over maybe not I think men had iron iron soles back then all right I'm just about out of battery I wanted to catch a couple more things before we head back home I went halfway out. I'll turn you off and save the battery. Rosendale Trestle, Wallkill Valley Railroad. There's your answer, 1870. Right there. Just to give you a quick perspective here. Today is uh, April 6th, 7th. 2023 still got snow and ice down here in these caves this is the Jopenberg Jopenberg mountains mountain range here this is just incredible yeah if I were a younger man I'd go caving back in there I imagine a lot of people do all right I got a bit of a charge back out of this battery there she is from down on the bottom we are up a, up around in there for the Delaware and Hudson Canal actually traversed right through here too this was the pit here she followed the canal followed the canal and it followed the Rondout all the way down but here's a kiln right here, big kiln, built into the side of Jopenberg, Jopenberg Mountain here. Uh, gosh, it's dropping down into the 40s here and the wind is picking up all of a sudden. Some beautiful drill marks in the hole, in the stones down there. Yep, this was the canal here. Up, uh, up that way, a little farther up is uh, High Falls, and they have the D&H Canal Museum there in High Falls. There it is, the infamous Rosendale Trestle and the Rondout. Beautiful stone abutments. Yep, spindly little guys, but they've held the test of time. All right, let's go back to Sam and put the heat on. Here's the roundout across the road. There was nobody coming. Rosendale, New York.